It's a discovery that could change what we think we know about the evolution of mankind. It would cause people to stop and rethink a lot of our presumptions about what makes humans human. It's simply astonishing. On a remote island in the Pacific, lie the remains of a people that are unlike anything discovered before. That's wonderful. Quite shocking. Small and strange looking, their existence defies the imagination. It can't be here. Who were they? How did they get to this isolated part of the world? And just what happened to wipe them out? Join a team of top scientists as they unearth the life, the death, and the shocking revelations behind a vanished tribe. June 2006. Palau, a remote chain of islands in the Pacific Ocean. National Geographic scientist Lee Berger has come here on vacation. On the final day of his trip, he hears rumors of a possible discovery of fossilized human remains nearby. Lee Berger is a renowned paleoanthropologist responsible for many groundbreaking discoveries about early man. He feels compelled to investigate. It really is one of the last places on Earth you'd expect to make a major paleontological find. A local guide takes Lee to a natural cave on one of the smallest islands. An uninhabited plot of land only 150 meters wide. As we started getting deeper into the cave, I saw the collapses and the vines growing in it. It really did feel old. The cave itself is like a natural cathedral with vines cascading from the trees and strange rock formations created by the surging sea and calcified rainwater. The guide takes Lee to a small pile of bones. He knows right away that they are human. But just what has he stumbled into? Are these the remains of a local hunter who wandered into the wrong cave and couldn't get out? A soldier from one of the battles fought here during World War II? Or something more exotic? Lee realizes the bones are extremely unusual. The piece of skull has a pronounced brow ridge, very different from the average modern human. The bone is also incredibly thick, and the shape of the forehead the wide nose and small eyes would have meant a strange, flat face. Nothing like Palau's current inhabitants. Perhaps most interesting of all is the skull's size. It's about 25% smaller than that of an average adult human today. These features are consistent with people who lived tens of thousands of years ago. Holding that tiny little skull in my hand, I was literally trembling with excitement, but I couldn't let it show. What Lee has found suggests that an unknown creature once roamed this island. Small, bizarre, but undeniably human. The possibilities are extraordinary. Could this be a strange new species of human, or the result of some kind of mutation? Before he can investigate further, Lee will have to return with a team of experts. 
that leaving the cave unattended carries risks. News could spread through these small islands quickly and bring treasure hunters. I had to walk away from those fossils and it's one of the hardest things I've ever had to do. I knew I'd be back soon, I just didn't know how soon and those bones were completely unprotected. He isn't sure what he's leaving behind, but it could be of great scientific importance. The story of human evolution is filled with unexpected twists and turns, as recent discoveries have shown. The bones found on Palau could be consistent with the remains of Homo floresiensis, the so-called hobbits discovered in 2003, less than 3,000 kilometers away on the island of Flores in Indonesia. The Flores hobbits are tiny pygmy-like creatures that appear to be descended from our common ancestor, Homo erectus. With their chimp-sized brains and thick-featured faces, the hobbits are believed to be a previously unknown offshoot of ancient humans that lived until 13,000 years ago. A distinct but closely related species whose remains so far have only been found in the one location. Is it possible that a wandering group of these hobbit-like beings made their way from Flores to Palau and settled here? But Palau isn't on any known route of early human travelers. The Palawan Islands lie in the Pacific Ocean, 800 kilometers from the nearest land mass. Despite the tropical climate and lush environment, humans, in fact any kind of mammals, are only thought to have arrived here between three and 4,000 years ago. The five main islands are surrounded by over 250 smaller rock islands. Its 21,000 inhabitants occupy the main islands, leaving the rock islands largely deserted. If the tiny cave people are somehow related to the hobbits, how would they have found their way to Palau? And if they're not, how did they evolve to be so small and unusual looking? The skull that Lee has found may reveal some answers, and it could shed light on the age-old question. How did we evolve? Six weeks later, a team of top scientists and researchers has been put together for an expedition. Working alongside Lee will be Steve Churchill, an expert on the evolution of the human body. The night before the eight-day expedition is set to begin, Lee is anxious. He still doesn't know if the cave has been raided and the bones stolen. Even if they are still there, Convincing the skeptical scientific community that these may be the remains of a new species of human will require a mounting of hard evidence. Put on your armor. You're going to be receiving barbs and you're going to be scrutinized in a way you've never imagined before. You're going to actually have to produce the evidence that supports your hypothesis. 